Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com Today's tutorial will look at using columns in Microsoft Word. Now the document I have open, I have two bulleted lists which I would like to format into two columns. To do that, it should be a case of just selecting all the text that I'd like to format. Go into the Page Layout tab, which is where you'll find your column options as you're changing the layout of the page. You can then click on your columns button and select the number of columns that you'd like to use. So for example I'd like to use two, so I click on two, Word will format that text I selected into two columns. Easy as that. You may have noticed when I clicked on the columns button that there was also an option at the bottom for more columns, which would open up the columns dialog box, give me a few more settings that I can play with. For example, one of the settings in here is a checkbox for line between. If I check that box and click on OK, I'll get a line in between each column, just helping differentiate the difference between them. I'm going to turn the option off, so I'm going to go back to columns, back into more columns, and untick that box. There are also options in here to change the width and spacing. By default, when you apply some columns, they're always of equal width. So at the moment, both columns are 6.7 centimetres with a little gap in between. I could uncheck that box and adjust the width of one of the columns, making column one a little bit smaller here. Maybe even increase the space or decrease the spacing. And click on OK. And then changes will take shape. You can now see column two is a lot wider and the gap a little bit smaller between each column. And that is formatting columns in Microsoft Word. Hope to see you again at uh, one of our other video tutorials or around computergargot.com where you'll find tons of tutorials on using Microsoft Office applications.